Team South Africa has released details of the three positive coronavirus cases in their football squad for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Players Tabiso Monyane and Kamachelo Mutlatsi, as well as uh, video analyst Mario Masha, tested positive on arrival in Tokyo as the team prepares to face hosts Japan on Thursday, the 22nd of July. A fourth South African Olympic team member, Sevens rugby coach Neil Powell, has also produced a positive result. He has been admitted to an isolation facility in Kagoshima, where the Rugby Seven squad are at a pre-games training camp. For more on this, let's cross now live to our SABC News correspondent, Phoebe Amoroso, who is in Tokyo. Phoebe, uh, good afternoon. I think it is good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us. So talk to us about um, the, uh, the positive cases and uh, you know, what the reaction has been to Team South Africa's uh, uh, positive coronavirus uh, um, cases. Well, Team South Africa was the first case of athletes being confirmed to be positive within the Olympic Village. And that's why it made a fair amount of headline news, particularly as uh, the IOC and other organizers have been promising that the Olympic Village will be one of the safest places with the high rates of vaccination among athletes being there. But uh, they aren't the first people to test positive associated with the Olympic Games. Since July the 1st, organizers have been keeping a tally, and that number is now 61. There are 28 individuals from overseas who have uh, tested tested positive and um, they are they are currently uh, monitoring all the uh, daily tests for all the athletes and the reaction has been one of uh, concern given that Tokyo right now is under a state of emergency and for the past five days cases here have topped 1,000 they were at a six-month high but organizers are uh, just today um, uh, Masa Takaya, who is the spokesperson for Tokyo 20, uh, he said that out of um, th these 28 individuals who've tested positive, over 12,000 people have come to Japan just in the past couple of weeks. And this is a very low percentage. So he's trying to reassure the general public that uh, there isn't con cause for concern. Any idea in terms of the isolation and how it's going to be impacting the uh, performance in the game? So what, what are the protocols once a player or uh, um, one of the athletes tests positive? What will happen now? Right, so that's a good question. They've really updated the rules when it comes to close contacts. So if anybody arrives in Japan with someone testing on their flight as positive, they then have to go into isolation. How long that period is, is not um, being clearly announced or defined. But for example, for the South Africa Rugby Sevens team, they were scheduled to arrive in Kagoshima for their training on Wednesday. They did not arrive until Saturday. And then sadly, of course, there was one confirmed case. However, because there are so many close contacts among athletes arriving they've updated the rules when it comes to competing in that if an athlete is able to test negative six hours before they compete then they will be allowed to go ahead there will be strict rules for contact sports there will be extra tests afterwards but that is the measure they're taking to make sure that athletes don't miss out on their chance to compete yeah, so it's a wait and see game, obviously, with our athletes that have tested positive and we'll, we'll have to see when the week comes and the day comes. Uh, if they are negative, then they can compete. Let's just get the, the idea and the, the sense of how it is in Tokyo right now, because we've, we've seen as a, a build up to these games that there has been a lot of anti-Olympic sentiment in Tokyo. What are things like now? I mean, the games are scheduled to begin on Friday. How are people in Tokyo feeling? Well, it's been no secret for quite some time the majority of the Japanese public are strongly opposed to the game. And just a recent survey that came out from the Asahi Shimbun newspaper, over two-thirds are skeptical as to whether the games will be safe and, safe and secure, which is a motto, a rhetoric we've heard time and time again from the organisers. And in that very same survey, over 50% want the games to be cancelled. Uh, given that Tokyo is under its fourth state of emergency, which sounds very dramatic, it's not been a hard lockdown as we've seen in other countries, 
countries, but it does mean restrictions on daily lives. People are being asked to stay home as much as possible. Restaurants must shut by 8 p.m. And they've been banned from serving alcohol. So there's also a general sense that Olympics are being prioritized and uh, have much more freedom than people have in their daily lives. That is building up resentment. We have seen some protests on the streets of Tokyo, and there's also been a lot of outcry on social media. So it would be fair to say that support here remains very low for the Games. All right, Phoebe, thanks very, very much for the update live from Tokyo ahead of the Olympic Games. Um, uh, SABC News correspondent Phoebe Amoroso updating us there. We'll, of course, be talking to her quite a bit as uh, we head up to the Olympic Games beginning on Friday. But the big story at the moment, Team South Africa. Already four positive cases being reported uh, in Team South Africa. So that's uh, something we'll keep an eye on.